Hey, Slider Crusaders. I um, want to talk a little more about Kobe. Uh, I had my men's group the other day, Bible group, and <clears throat> 10 of us, super accomplished, high achieving, amazing men. And they were all, I don't even think any of them were real basketball fans necessarily, but they were all still, I don't want to say broke up about it, but it definitely affected them pretty deeply. And me too. And I don't, I don't want to just let some of these lessons go. So uh, a couple of clips I want to play here. This is about, uh, this is a clip of Kobe talking about why he flew in helicopters a lot. You know, after school activities, all that fun stuff, even on weekends. But then traffic started getting really, really bad, right? And I was sitting in traffic and I wound up missing like a school play because mm -hmm. I was sitting in traffic. And this, this thing just kept mounting. I had to figure out a way where I could still train and focus on the craft but still not compromise family time. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I looked into helicopters and be able to get down and back in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. and, and that's when it started. And so my routine was always the same. Waits early in the morning, kids to school, fly down, practice like crazy, do my extra work, media, everything I needed to do, fly back, get back in carpool line, pick the kids up. And my wife was like, listen, I can pick them up. I'm like, no, no, no. I, I want to do that because mm -hmm. like, you know, you have road trips and times where you're not you don't see your right. kids, man, right. you know? So, like, every chance I get to see them and spend time with them, even if it's 20 minutes in a car, like, I want that. Mm. Now, he's rich, <laughs> so he can afford to fly around in helicopters for his commute. But the point I, I really want to point out here is that he, look how he prioritizes family, right? And wasn't willing to compromise family time. Like, no, I'm going to pick up the kids. Dad, I'm the dad, I'm going to pick up the kids because every moment is precious. Uh, there's a video of Tracy McGrady going around, and in the beginning of the video, he's talking about, he tells the story of how Kobe told him that he wanted to die young. I'm not sure why, I mean, I'd love, I wish we'd get more information on like what Kobe's thoughts were about why he wanted to do that, but what's not getting a lot of attention is what Tracy McGrady said a couple seconds later in the second part of the video here. And when I got the news yesterday, I had a dance with my daughter yesterday at my wife's event, and they came and told me the news, and I just couldn't believe it, just like, just like everybody else, but it's, I'm devastated. Did you catch that? He was at a dance with his daughter. You know, there's the stereotype of the, the absent black father, and there's data to show his prevalence, but let's not forget all the dads, black, white, whatever color, I hate even talking about color. All the dads who are amazing dads and amazing dads to their daughters. The other day, there was a, a hashtag uh, on Twitter, girl dad. Now, I'm not much of a hashtag guy, right? Uh, but this was a good one. This one was, was really encouraging to scroll through. Dads posting pictures of their daughters celebrating their relationships uh, and the relationship between a man and his, and his girls. That's pretty special. Uh, rapper T.I., he wrote this great message to his daughters. It's long, but just part of it. He said, I love you girls more than my vocabulary will allow me to express. You've grown so much right before my very eyes and blossomed into strong, independent young women. I'm so proud of you both, and I love you to no end more than you ever know. He goes on gushing over his girls, posts a bunch of pictures. Uh, now, I'm sure we could find some lyrics of some, of some songs from T.I. in the past that are less than respectful to women. But hopefully having daughters has changed his ways in, in that regard. But if out of this whole Kobe tragedy, if men are inspired to be better, more present, active and engaged and loving fathers to their sons and daughters, then that's a good thing. And that will by far be the most important thing of Kobe Bryant's legacy.